hello 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 i'm janice and i hope you're all doing well not too many videos ago i made one on a dinnerly delivery box and i actually really enjoyed cooking all that stuff and trying out new recipes and recently i came across a coupon code for hellofresh and i thought why not give hellofresh a go as well so the box just arrived about 15 minutes ago and i thought you know what let's open this box together and see what it's inside so i ordered three different meals enough for two people so that is six meals all together what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take everything out show you what's inside and the recipes that we'll be cooking uh, over the next few days i have a little pamphlet that kind of talks about what hellofresh is all about they do send you the recipe sheets as well which um from memory dinnerly didn't send so there are three different paper bags and they have different color stickers on them which correspond to the different colors that's on each recipe card so we have this we have bag number two and we have bag number three which obviously because we have three different meals and then we also have a freezer bag that that keeps all the i'm assuming the protein uh fresh so we have a bag of sauce Beef strips, a thing of bacon, ice pack, number one, ice pack, number two, another pack of beef strips, some pesto, some garlic aioli, a small packet of oyster sauce, a small thing of feta, and some fish sauce and rice vinegar. Just a tiny, tiny capsule of fish sauce and, and rice vinegar. And that's pretty much it. We are gonna be cooking this over the next several days and I do wanna start this video off by cooking the Korean beef tacos because that's sort of calling my name right now. And the meal kit that I need is the orange squared ones. This is what I need. I already opened it. And the pantry items that I'll need in addition to what they have supplied is olive oil, soy sauce, honey, vinegar, and sugar. All of which I have at home. Let's see what's actually inside. So for these Korean beef tacos, we're gonna need a red onion, mini flour tortillas, lettuce, a carrot, crispy shallots, chili, I think that's optional, and one clove of garlic. And then in terms of the ingredients that needed to be in the fridge, we need our beef strips and also our garlic aioli. Okay, according to this recipe, this should only take 20 to 30 minutes to make. So let's just get right into it. The first thing that I gotta do is to marinate the beef. So I have to finely chop the garlic and then in a medium bowl, combine the garlic, soy sauce and honey, and then add the beef strips and then set to marinate. And and then after that, I have to pickle the onions. So I gotta thinly slice these red onions, then to a bowl, add a quarter cup of water, a quarter cup of rice vinegar, a teaspoon of salt, three teaspoons of sugar, mix it all together, and then add the onions to the mixture and just let it pickle while we move on to prep some of the other stuff. Then chop up the lettuce into thin strips and grate the carrot. If I ever find a better grater, I will let you know. Add some salt and pepper to it and just get this all sort of mixing together. And that's it. Then we cook the beef. There we go. Pour out the crispy shallots, squeeze out the garlic aioli and warm up the tortillas and we're done and ready to assemble the Korean beef tacos. All right, the beef tacos are now fully ready. We have the stir fried beef. We have the vegetables with the carrots. We have the pickled red onions. We have the shallots, the garlic aioli, and then some uh, tortillas that have just been in the oven for about two minutes. So let's assemble. There are six tortillas in the packet, so I'm assuming each serving per person is like three tacos. Anyway. It's okay, it's not too bad. I feel like it's missing like tomatoes or like um, avocado, and I'm not too sure which part of this is, is like Korean. But overall, it's not bad. I'd probably add more garlic aioli. That, that stuff is pretty good. What do you think? You didn't taste the tortilla. I did. Does it taste Korean to you? Can you speak? It doesn't. 
Maybe we didn't season it well. What do you mean? But I, I think it's still tasty. It just doesn't taste like Korean tacos. Do you have any comments? I think you could make it yourself. You just put gold here. Yeah. Agreed. Overall, it's quite nice. I quite enjoy it. I think next time um, I can try and use bulgogi beef instead of these ones. And then it might taste more like Korean style beef tacos. I don't know, but I'm enjoying it so far. Another day, another dish, same exact outfit. So this time we're gonna be trying the Vietnamese zesty beef and broccoli with jasmine rice and mint. I have never had this combo before at any Vietnamese restaurant, but I am very eager to try it. So in terms of the things that we're gonna need to provide, so like things that are expected in our pantry, it's olive oil and brown sugar, both of which I have, so tick. So the meal kit symbol that we need is the purple one. I already opened it. So this is the one that we're gonna need. And inside we have mint leaves, jasmine rice, a three quarter cup of jasmine rice. I think I actually eat a lot, like a lot more than normal people do because I can eat a three quarter cup of rice just by myself. Anyway, we have a thing of broccoli. Oh, I got the bottom cut off. And we also have a lime, a red onion, two cloves of garlic this time, another chili. I'll probably just reuse the chili that I had um, for my beef. Korean tacos that I made yesterday. So this one I'm just gonna keep in the bag. And in terms of the ingredients that needed to be refrigerated, we have the sweet chili sauce, the oyster sauce, the fish sauce with rice vinegar, and a thing of beef strips. So without further ado, let's get to prepping and cooking. All right, so the first thing that we gotta do is to cook the rice. And according to the instructions here, we cook the rice on a saucepan. Now, I've never cooked my rice on a, in a saucepan before. I always defer to my trusty rice cooker because it never fails to produce delicious fluffy rice. And I trust my rice cooker a lot more than I trust my own skills. However, I do wanna try and stay true to the directions. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook our rice on a saucepan. I've never done it before, but there's always a first for everything, right? The instructions are very, very exact. It says, bring the water to boil, stir, cover with the lid, reduce the heat to low, cook for 12 minutes, then remove the pan from heat and keep cover until the rice is tender and all the water is absorbed. And the tip that they have is, the rice will finish cooking in its own steam, so don't peek. All right, I won't. Okay, while the rice is cooking and I've set a timer on, we combine the oyster sauce, the sweet chili sauce, fish sauce and rice vinegar mix, brown sugar and lime zest into a medium bowl and then add the beef strips into it. I've never actually marinated my beef with sweet chili sauce and oyster sauce, so I'm very eager to see what this tastes like and how it turns out. Then we move on to chopping up the broccoli, thinly slicing the onions and finally chopping the garlic. After that, we cook the broccoli first and stir it with the garlic. There we go. Okay, the broccoli is done, the rice is done. I haven't checked on it. We'll check on it together in just a sec. And now I'm gonna cook the beef with uh, the chilies, the onions, etc., etc. I think we'll be done in like five minutes. Okay. Yeah, this didn't take long at all. Once done, season with salt and pepper and then remove from the pan. All right, everything is done. I tasted the beef. It tasted pretty good, actually. I really like the lime flavors to it. So I'm gonna plate up, I'm gonna check on my rice, and then we're gonna taste test everything. And this is how the rice turned out. All right, and here we have our beef and broccoli rice. I'm gonna try the rice first because it, it looked a little bit too soggy to me when I was just scooping it out. It's not bad. I think I could have done better though. Okay, the broccoli, I already taste tested it. It tasted like how garlic and broccoli would taste like. And then we have the beef. Do you know what? I actually really enjoy the beef because I can really taste the lime flavors there. It's just not bad. I actually quite enjoy it. I like this more than the, the tacos that we had yesterday. Do I think this is Vietnamese? Um, I don't know. There's a lot of like the lime flavor and you can taste a little bit of the fish sauce, but other than that, I, I wouldn't sort of right off the bat be able to tell that this is a Vietnamese beef rice. Having said that, I think it's really tasty. Next time I probably stir fry the broccoli with the beef as well. So it's also coated in that sauce. That sauce is delicious. 
I'm gonna finish this off and then I'll see you probably tomorrow. Yeah. Alrighty, and last but definitely not least, we are making a pesto and bacon pasta today. And the recipe is the red one, which corresponds with this bag. I mean, it's the last bag, so it has to be this one. We have a bag of pasta, a bag of almond flakes, a small bag of chili flakes, one lemon, one onion, a small zucchini, and one clove of garlic. And in terms of the refrigerated ingredients, we have a small bag of pesto, a stick of feta cheese, and also a thing of bacon. This recipe is gonna take 25 to 35 minutes to make. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to prep everything. So we need to boil water. We need to slice the onion, chop the bacon, peel the zucchini, chop the garlic, and then zest the lemon. Sounds easy enough. Now that all that is done, we cook the pasta and we also toast the almonds. So we just pour it into a pan and just let it heat for about two to three minutes until it's golden. And then we cook the bacon and the veggies. So we put the bacon in first and then the onion and then the zucchini, garlic and lemon zest and a pinch of chili flakes. And then add the spinach. I forgot to show this in the initial shots, but uh, let's watch an entire bag of spinach turn into absolutely nothing. Then just add the pasta, a lot of lemon juice, salt, and pepper. Okay, we're pretty much done. All the pasta is cooked up with the bacon, etc., etc. We just need to do the last thing, which is to serve it up. Put some feta on top. I might put a little bit. Okay, it's now time to put our bacon pesto pasta to the test. It doesn't look as bright and beautiful as it does in that recipe picture, but it smells pretty good, so I'm optimistic. I added some additional lemon juice at the end as well. I actually find this very tasty. It's a bit spicy from the chili flakes. It's a bit tangy from the lemon juice, and then you've got like, that feta and the pesto and the bacon as well. I think it's just a very tasty dish. It doesn't look as good, but I'm very happy with how it tastes. Overall, if I had to choose a favorite out of the three, I think this bacon pasta might be my favorite. And then the beef rice and then the beef taco. All right, and here are my final thoughts on the HelloFresh box. I think that it's extremely convenient. It's very simple, it's very easy. You get an entire box of food delivered to your doorstep with each meal in a different bag. The recipes are easy enough to follow and, and they taste all right. I mean, I finished everything. <laughs> on the other hand, I do find the portions to be on the smaller side, uh, but at 35 bucks, if you have the discount code, you know, it is a good deal for, for the ease and the convenience and the simplicity. However, as someone who enjoys going grocery shopping and has the time to go grocery shopping and probably eats more than the normal person, paying full price is $70 for a box. Not so much. Anyway, that is the end of this video. If you're still watching, thank you so much for watching till the end. I post new videos every week, so check them out if you have time. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Okay, I know this looks really silly, but this is what I do now to cut all my onions because I don't know why, I just get really affected by cutting onions and I can't stop tearing up and it stings my eyes for a good like two, three minutes. So <laughs> that's what I do now. <laughs>